few years ago we had several suicides within eight months and as a counselor I was really looking at to looking at the school and to seeing where are our students falling falling through the cracks and so I was looking and I, what I really started noticing was there were five categories of students that were falling through the cracks and we would do different things within the school to try to reach out to them but it just wasn't effective we weren't reaching them as effectively as I thought we could be and so one area was uh, new students coming into, into the school anytime during the school year besides the beginning of each semester. Um, also when students are hospitalized or st students are out because of an extended illness for five or more days. Also if students lose a loved one a lot of times they have to miss school to go attend the funeral and to be with their families and that type of thing. And then also uh, we knew at Green Mountain we knew what it what a uh, death of a student uh, did to a school and how it impacted and so and it affects students and staff and and the entire the, the entire community and so we knew that there there was a need there and that's one way that we could reach out and so we decided to start a club to address those five different five different areas I just think it's an amazing program where we can make a really big difference and just reach out and help out the community we're just about letting people know that we care. Bionic team is a team, it stands for believe it or not, I care. And we are just, we're just a team to help reach out to the kids at Green Mountain and show them that we do care about them. I feel that it is an amazing group of young people who give back to the community. I think so many people have joined the team because uh, they see that it's not a team um, they, that creates clicks, um, that we're open to anybody, that you don't have to um, fill out an application to be on the team. They've um, heard about all the things that we've done, and it's a team that actually reaches out to the community and it, out to the school, and they see that um, we're just about letting people know that we care. Basically, when Bionic first started, I was a sophomore in high school, and when it first started, I saw the posters everywhere, and you're kind of intrigued with this team that's called Believe It or Not, I Care, and nothing like that has ever, ever been at Green Mountain or any school that I've been to, middle school or elementary school. Um, and just seeing that um, really affected me in a way that I just, I feel like we need to be there for everyone to see and like for everyone to feel comfortable that you know what there are people that care they don't just service our community I should say they service um, families and, and students um, around the state of Colorado as well as the country we're split into five teams like there's the new student team and we help the new students at our school feel more welcome. We, um, we give them a little student survival kit and it's like a pencil and a candy bar and a planner. And then every month we have a new student lunch and um, we just like try and befriend them and welcome them into our school. My role in Bionic is I'm the leader for the new student team and that's where we send out invitations and survival kits to new students that come in every month and we'll um, host new student lunches every month and just to get to know them, make them feel more welcome. There's the extended illness team and if students are sick for more than five days we bring them their homework so that they can get help caught up on that. When students are out sick with an extended illness or a health condition it is difficult because they feel they feel uh, just they're not a part of what's going on at the school and so it can be very lonely out there. We're making cards for people that have been sick for more than five days and then we put those cards in a bigger package that has tutors and a little spreadsheet to keep organized because makeup work is just crazy hard and so it helps to be organized. We always wanted to make cards that was like the big thing for extended illness team but the, like the spreadsheets and the tutors came later when we saw that Really, it was the makeup work that was so hard when you were gone. So we made that better, and the spreadsheet was just a really great idea, and that really helps. First, we find out, like, um, kids, if they've been sick five consecutive days in a row or longer, then we'll find that out from Miss Austin. And um, we have, like, these kind of these pre-made um, cards and envelopes that we um, on the front we'd like write get well soon and kind of decorate it a little bit and then on then 
side, we'd write a little message like, we heard you're feeling a little under the weather. Hope this card will cheer you up. This team really shows that people really care about you and we really want you back at school. Your presence really does make a difference. There is the school tragedy team. This year, I'm leader of the school tragedy team with Trent and Lavelle. And what we do um, is that we're just like a wellness team. We just make sure that other schools out there that experience tragedy, that have hard times, know that there are other people out there that are thinking of them and that we are here to lend our support. Signing the poster is an incredible experience and an incredible thing to watch because we're set up in a crowded commons area with 500 kids plus just walking around and congregating and then right in the middle we have this huge like card that we can send out with colorful markers and everything that all different types of students and different cliques and different like age groups you know can come up and sign. It's great. Um, Trent has a really loud voice. And so in the mornings or during lunch when we have these posters out, um, we just shout as loud as we can to the comments like, hey guys, come show your love, send your support, you know, come and sign the poster for Platte Canyon. You just get hordes of people coming over and not only kids, you have teachers that are walking by and like security um, faculty that walks by and they are like, you know what guys, this is a great thing. I need to show my support too. And they sign and it's incredible when you have like hundreds of signatures on a poster that just show that each one of these signatures represents how much one kid cares. Uh, we also have the loss team, so if a student or a staff member loses a family member, we bring them a pie and just kind of, you know, like help them through that time. For the last team, um, basically our role is to go to people's houses. Um, it can be a student um, or if it's a, a faculty member, we uh, go to the classroom and we deliver them a pie and we don't stay for long. We just say, hi, we're uh, from Green Mountain. Um, we're the lost team and we heard about the death in your family and we just want to let you know that we're thinking of you and um, we're here for you and you're in our thoughts and we hand them the pie. We're remembering you know, what they're going through and the pain that they're feeling. And then the last team is the hospitalization team and if students are hospitalized for an extended period, we go visit them at the hospital and bring them um, like a coffee jug full of Hershey's Kisses. We get a group of people together and we go visit a student and we bring them a mug, a coffee mug full of chocolate kisses because everyone likes chocolate. And on it, there's a little note that just says that we're thinking about them. We hope they're, you know, doing okay. We hope they recover quickly and that they get back to school safe and sound. Some students do have diabetes, hypoglycemia, um, blood sugar issues, which don't let them eat a lot of chocolate. And so in those cases, we bring balloons in place of the chocolate just because you know, helps brighten up the hospital room a little bit. Hi Sam, we're from the bionic team at school and we hear that you were in the hospital and we were just wondering how you were doing and we hope you get well soon. And we brought you a mug of Hershey's Kisses so you could get better faster. I, uh, you know, I just love helping out people. I help try to help people recover faster in the hospital and try to help people as best I can all the time. We have these great little referral boxes and they're just small and really simple. And what we do with these is they're in every single department meeting room. Like we have one in the English and the social studies, you know. And since the teachers are the closest to the students, they see the students every day. They know what's affecting if someone has lost a member in their family or if someone's been sick for so long and they need help on their homework, you know. Anything like that, the teachers can fill out these little bionic referral cards. And um, these are how we get the majority of our referrals.